Coming up, you'll meet another Idaho cowboy who moonlights as a custom boot maker. But first, the Montana company recreating the historic Sharps Buffalo gun and their surprising customers. Now we have one like it, which is this one right here. It's the big rifle that co-starred with Tom Selleck in Quigley Down Under, and it was made in the small town of Big Timber, Montana. Yeah, we did Quigley. Um, we built for Dances with Wolves, Crossfire Trail, and Wyatt Earp. All of those guns were built from raw steel and wood at the Shiloh Sharps Rifle Company. For 40 years, family-owned Shiloh Sharps has been recreating the guns used by the buffalo hunters of the 1800s. And they are very period correct. We're the only company in the world whose parts interchange with the originals. And these prized rifles are coveted by buyers all over the world. People will like history and people like to compete. Some people hunt with them. Other people will hang them on the wall and never shoot them. The guns made here at Shiloh Sharps are exactly the same as the ones made back in the 1800s, like this 1874 model owned by famous frontier photographer L.A. Huffman. It's the exact same rifle you see in this historic photograph and one of several museum quality pieces displayed in the Shiloh showroom. So this is the foundry. But what most people yeah. never get to see is how these rifles are created. You have a master. From carved hardwood. We start out with virgin bars of 4140 chrome ollie. And molten steel. Pot here will melt 30 pounds of this every four and a half minutes. Kirk Bryan took time out of his very busy day to give us a fascinating tour of the factory, beginning in the foundry. Those will be grip caps. The parts are created with wax molds, the same process used when a bronze sculpture is cast. And these here are some butt plates. What you end up with is a piece of steel that looked like the ceramic tree. This is a 74 sharps receiver. Now these will get buzz cut off of here. These are the castings that we just seen next door. They'll be putting these CNC machines and come out looking like this. All the holes are drilled, threaded. Shiloh used reverse engineering to discover how the old guns were made to make historically accurate replicas. High-tech equipment is of course used today, but much of the meticulous craftsmanship is still done by hand. And here's what some people have. This one here's got gold inlay. There's a buffalo on this side. A wolf on that side. It's like a work of art. Mm-hmm. And that's hand, all done by hand. Well. Hammer and chisel. This is the woodwork. These accent lines. This is all hand filed. If a person wants a double, triple A finish, then they're put back together and hand sanded with thousand grit and oil until they get a nice sheen and all the pores are filled. This is the area where the final gun's assembled, inspected, and final tag before it gets shipped out of here on to its new customer. And when you get done, this is what your final product is. Every gun is different. Base price for a Shallow Sharps rifle is $1,900. People start putting a lot of gold and platinum in them. They'll go, you know, 10, 12,000. While some of these guns go up on a wall and will never be fired, a growing number of men and women of all ages compete with these rifles in long range target shooting, firing at targets more than 800 yards away using nothing more than the old iron sights of the 1800s. It's different, it's uh, history, it's not, uh, when you're shooting, it's not like going out with the high-powered scopes and, and everything. When you hit a target at 500 yards with iron sights and it goes down, you get a little excited because it's just, I mean, it's iron sights. Kirk and Lucinda, brother and sister, both enjoy competing when they can. But it's just the fun because Kirk is my spotter, I shoot, I spot, he shoots, and so it's kind of a, if he does well and you're spotting, I mean, it's a, it's a team effort. So you feel good at the end of the day. If he comes out and gets first, second place, you just feel like you accomplished something. I shot these photos for a magazine story at the annual Matthew Quigley Buffalo Rifle Match outside Forsyth, Montana. The latest competition attracted more than 600 shooters from 37 states and four foreign countries. Well, all over the United States. You can uh, anymore pretty much shoot anywhere every weekend. The guns are used for hunting as well, including modern day buffalo hunting. But like most things out west, the best part of it all are the people you meet. Just the people that we meet all over the world, my brother and I, my mom and dad, we, you know, my brother and I travel to the shows, we shoot together as a team. And I think it's just kind of that, our kids grew up that way with us. They set targets, it's, it's been a neat way of life. Lucinda and her brother run Shiloh Sharps with their semi-retired parents. Mom still works in the office and dad still helps out in the shop. And it's a family business. We work all day together and we play at nights. <laughs> business is good. 
Shiloh has a year's worth of backlogged orders. When the doors close, we're family. When we're here, it's business. A unique business it is, recreating a piece of history from the Old West.